we will call places I've lived and places that I, I've visited over my entire life. Let me pack my bags. We're going now, everyone. Goodbye. This episode has been brought to you by Patreons, such as Tiger Eye 4 c Xander Fett, Gordo, Crispy 808, HMM, Robert Abois, and Default Erin. Thank you very much to all of our Patreons at patreon.com forward slash AKSPA. You can also find our podcast at travelswithmiriam.com Okay, Miriam, are you ready? What, what do I need to be ready for? Oh, we're going to, uh, we're going to call some places in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Oh, oh yes. Uh, how are you traveling this week? By train. Yes, I hope it's like taking the train. All right, well, that's good. All right, uh, let's get this going. I found for you a hotel. It's roughly right across the street from the uh, train station, so you won't have a hard time uh, getting everything over there. Let's just ask for general information about the hotel, okay? Oh, all right. Good morning, Townsend. Karen speaking. May I help you? Yes, hello. Well, what can you tell me about your, your hotel, dear? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Would you say that again? Yes, I'm traveling to Harper's Ferry via train. I would like to find a place to stay. Well, if you go online, you will see that uh, in, uh, all the information is available. Oh dear, no, I don't have the internet. Thank you. Good morning, Townsend. May I help you? Yes, hello, dear. I don't have the internet. Oh, well then this won't be a very good place for you. I'm sorry. All the best to you. Bye-bye. Oh, what? I don't have the internet. They won't tell me anything about the hotel. What? What does it say about them, eh? It says they're a bunch of pretentious assholes. Yes. She's been quite ageist. I've reported her to the tourism board. Good morning, Townsend. Karen speaking. May I help you? Yes. Hello? May I help you? Yes, hello. I want to book a room. You. So I'm hanging up. Goodbye. Hello? Oh, that's it. She's getting it. She doesn't know how to use a phone. Good morning, Townsend. Karen speaking. May I help you? Hello? Yes, can you hear me, dear? I don't hear anything. I'm hanging up. Hello? I know she can hear me. Good morning, Townsend. Karen speaking. May I help yes, you? Yes, hello. I'm trying to book a room. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You should call the visitor center here if you need some help. That number is 304. That's the visitor center. I'll three, you to the three, I board. can't understand you. They're static, and I just don't understand your, um, your message. So please call 304. All the best to you. Bye. She doesn't want anyone's business. Scenic Glyph Gift Shop. Hello there, dear. I was wondering about the scenic chairlift ride. I'm sorry? The, the chairlift ride. Okay, what would you do, like do to you know? Do you do that now? I'm sorry? Is that now? Is that done now or is that later in the year? Every day, 9 to 4 until October. Oh, and how high off the ground is it? 50 feet. Oh, are oh, the seat belts? No, just a bar in front of you. Oh, has anyone fallen? No. Oh, perhaps I'll be the first. Oh, yes. How much is it? Seven dollars for adults, five dollars for seniors or children. Oh, yes. That's a good price when you, when you think about all the value you're getting out of it. I'm sorry? Yes. When you think about all the value you're getting for your money there, that's a good price right there. Yes. And what else do you do there? It. We just have the gift shop and the scenic chairlift right now. All right. That sounds good. I'll be in tomorrow. You're running it then, right? Okay, thank you. All right. Goodbye. 
Five dollars to get rid of Miriam. Woohoo! That's nice and cheap. Hey, Miguel, this is Carla. How can I help you? Yes, hello. Uh, I'm looking to get some more information about uh, what you do there. Okay, you're confusing me. What do you need? Yes, uh, I, I found your number here in the tourism guide. Okay. I want to know exactly what it is you do there. We have a train ride that gets up through the cannons so and you can see bald eagles. Oh, yes, bald eagles, yes. Yes. All right. And I see it. There's a, something called the trough. It's called the trough, yeah. Yes. Can I go into the trough? Can you have a what? Can I go into the trough? Is there a trail? It's a trough train. It's where you go through. You get on the train. We take you up through the trough where the eagles are. It's through the cannon. Then it brings you back here. A cannon? I can't, it looks like a cannon. It's like a trough where it looks like... It's just called a trough. It's like going by the river. All right. It's by the river. The river. Do we ride inside the river? It's right... Uh, we ride right beside the river. Uh, beside the river? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And when I'm riding the train, can I chop off and into the river? Yeah. Oh, good, yes. Hey. Do you provide boats? Can you repeat that? Yes. Does the train have a boat for the river? Yes, it's just a train where the goosey eagles. That's all it is. All right. Hey. Can I take an eagle home with me? Take who with you? No, can I take the eagle home no. with me? No, you we can't you can't get near the eagles, no. Oh. Uh, do you serve eagle for dinner? <coughs> oh my No eagle for Miriam. Hello, South Branch Jim Romney, may I help you? Yes, hello. Oh, I was watering. I wanted to inquire about your facilities there. Uh. Okay. Um, but we have standard rooms that have two full-size beds, and that's $104 plus tax. All right, yes. I, I see. We have jacuzzis. I'm sorry? Jacuzzis. Jacuzzis? Yes. The jacuzzi suite is one forty five plus tax. All right. I, I, do you have a senior discount? Uh huh. That would be one thirty five plus tax for the jacuzzi suite. All right. Yes. Do, do, do you have women of the night there? I'm sorry, what was that? Do you have women of the night? For my husband. You want to make, you want a room for the night? No, no. A prostitute. For my husband. Hello. Hello, what was that? Yes. A prostitute. Yes. I'm sh not sure what you're saying. A, a, a woman that provides uh, sexual favors for money. Uh, for my husband. What are you wanting? I mean, I'm not sure what you're wanting me. What? <laughs> I mean, we don't. We don't have people here that do things like that. Oh dear. Do you know anywhere that would have a room and also have the prostitutes right outside? Yes. I, I can't. I can't go through with it anymore. I'm too old. Hello? Are you still there, dear? It's an honest question. And no one ever seems to want to answer it. I, I, I can't service my husband anymore. What? Yes, I can't service my husband anymore. So I need to find someone that has a room and the girls outside. I just, I'll just give them the money and let, let them in, you know. Are you saying you need somewhere to stay? Yes, yes. Somewhere to stay. 
and outside it's a girl that I can a girl that I can a girl that I can pay for to help my poor husband out. Yes. What's your name? Miriam. What is it? Miriam. What's your name? Miriam. Miriam? M. Yes, Miriam. Where do you live, Miriam? Upstate New York. Yes. I'm coming to visit with my husband. Yes. We're coming for Bridge Day. That's uh, October 19th. Yes. Miriam, you have called Romney, West Virginia. Do you know you called Romney, West Virginia? Yes, that's where we're going. Oh, you're coming to Romney. Yes, on holiday. When? October the 19th. Do you have reservations? No, no. We're looking for a place to stay that has the girls outside. Well, we don't have girls outside. Oh, dear. Yes, but uh, do, do you know of any hotel that has uh, girls outside? No. Uh, all right, then. Well, I won't be able to do business with you, then. Have a good day. I'm sorry. Uh-huh, bye-bye. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Cape and Springs and Farms. This is Sheila. Hello there, dear. I was wondering about uh, what services you provide there. I'm sorry? What services do you provide? Uh, we're a resort. All right. Uh, what do you have there, dear? Uh, we have tennis courts, basketball courts, golf, uh, ping pong houses, shuffleboard. Oh, we have. It sounds like a, a place for the young, not the old. Sorry? It sounds like a place for the young, not the old, like I. Well, we have picnics, or um, we have porches that you can sit on and watch things that are going on. It's a nice, relaxing place. All right. Well, I'll consider looking into this a little bit more. Uh, perhaps as time goes on. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, so thank you, dear. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Good afternoon, W.V. Highlands. Yes, hello. Is this the, the art gallery? I'm sorry? Is this the art gallery? This is uh, W.V. Highlands Gallery. Oh, yes. I, I was wondering if you sell uh, marijuana there. I, I'm sorry, I can't understand you, ma'am. Cannabis, do you sell it? Uh, I'm sorry, I still can't understand. Oh, dear. Would you like to see me, Fanny? I have a hunch you have the wrong number, ma'am. Do you have autistic cocaine for sale? I'm sorry. It must be a bad connection. It's just not coming through. Oh, oh dear. Do you have cannabis cocaine or lysergic acid? Hello. Oh, dear. Okay, Miriam. Uh, we're going to try doing some more calls. Oh, fuck. All right, and the audio is going to have to be boosted in post because we're using, a, I don't know, ASIO, I guess. I'm not really sure about that. Oh, man. Now I've got a something going on in my leg. Anyway, we got a phone number here for the hydroelectric plant, and you have to ask you about how the power goes. Okay, Miriam? Yes. How does the power go? Yeah. Oh, Mark, Mike speaking. Yes. How does the power go? Say again? How does the power go? How do you make the power there? The tower... Power? Power? Yes. I'm having a hard time understanding you. I'm sorry. Yes. 
How do you make the power? I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Well, I can hear you just fine. How do you make the power go? Um, you saying power? Yes. I don't understand you. You make the power go. How does it go? Where does the power go? Yes, yes. What are you... I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm sorry. I need more power. Can you give me the power, dear? The power? Yes. I... Are you talking, trying to find something out about the park, or...? Yes, I... hydroelectric park. So, are you trying to find parking? No, no. Oh, I want to know more about the hydroelectric park. There's electric. a power plant. Power plant? Yes. Okay. You talk, so there is a old power plant at the park that was... It's no, it's not operational, but it leave it on how much we extended, which is down in Lower Town. But other than that, I don't know what you're trying to say. Can I tour the the abandoned hydroelectric plant? Yeah. Oh, that's that all I be, wanted to know, that dear. Would be, that would be so if you from Lower Town, like the train station. Yes. It would keep going left on Potomac Street to Potomac Street Extended, which is also known as the Army Canal Trail, and it would be right over there, which is the old power plant. Other than that, I don't know too much information about that old plant, but... Oh. All right. Is, well, that's all yeah. I wanted to know, dear. I'm sorry. Have a good day. Yes, it was well. Yes. It's interesting, because that's the phone number for the hydroelectric power plant. The abandoned one, of course. I don't know why the abandoned one has a phone number and they don't know anything about it, but there you go. River Expedition, this is Charlotte. How may I help you? Hello there, dear. I'd like some information about river rafting. Okay, hold one moment. In river right. Expeditions. Thank you for holding. This is Sue. How may I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about river rafting. Okay, when would you like to go rafting? It'll be a month from now, October. What day? The 19th. Um, for bridge day? Yes. Okay, and how many people? Are you wanting to do the new river? Oh, that sounds good. It'll be myself and my grandson. What is it? Myself and my grandson. You and your grandson? Yes. Two people? Yes. Just rafting? Yes. Okay, um, on Saturday it's one forty two eighty per person. All right. Do you take cash? Maybe you'd have to pay with a credit card in order to, um, to get it booked. Oh, dear. You have to pay before you get here. Oh, I see. I'll have him bring his card then. He'll call up and, and place the order. Okay, yeah, he can call us and um and book it with his credit card. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have an age limit? Do we have an age limit? Mm, yes. No. I mean, as long I'm, as you... I I'm mean, 84 six, years of young. Yes. Right. Um, generally, it's cold during that time. It is Class 5 whitewater. All right. It's not that a float trip by no means. How safe is it? Pardon me? How safe is it? Um, there's risk with everything you do. You have to sign a liability form. Oh, good. Yes. That, that, that sounds good to me. I'll just get lost. Yes. Right, just have him give me a call and we can get him booked. All right. Okay. Thank you, dear. Uh -huh, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. I'm going to fall off the boat. Travel Berkeley Springs. This is Laura. May I help you? Yes, hello. I'm looking for information about history. Okay. What is there to see in Berkeley Springs? Well, we have uh, quite a bit of George Washington history. He 
originally came here and surveyed the area for Lord Fairfax. He owned uh, two pieces of property here. He has. Uh, we have a replica of his bathtub here in the park. Oh, can I take a bath in the bathtub? Uh, you can sit in the bathtub. Yes. Uh huh. Oh, that'd be interesting. It, it's outdoors. The water. It's the spring water. Um, but it's the the tub is the replica is outdoors. Is, is it all right if I bathe there? Well, you can you can either um, wade in the spring waters outside, or there are several spas that use the mineral water um, in an inside uh, tub. Oh yes, the mineral water. Can you tell me more about that? I'm sorry. The mineral water. Can you tell me more about it? Uh, the mineral water is high in magnesium, oh. and it comes out of the ground at 74 degrees year-round. Oh, that's nice. If it what is what is winter time? In the winter time, it comes out of the ground at 74 degrees, correct, uh-huh. Oh, that's quite interesting. Mm-hmm. All right. What can you tell me about the art? Uh, we have a large artist community. There's lots of little shops that carry uh, local artwork. We have a co-op in what is called the Ice House, and it uh, has a revolving um, art exhibit, uh, changes every about every three months. And then there's uh, a group of co-op artists that are uh, have products there. There's probably about 12 artists. Do, do they sell the marijuana there? Well, you can actually bring jugs and fill up your jugs with the mineral water. No, no. Marijuana. Cannabis. Uh, marijuana, no, they do not. We don't. It's not legal in West Virginia yet. All right. Uh, uh, Maryland it is, but it's not in West Virginia. Oh, all right. And I hear that there's several spas there. Can you recommend a spa to me? Uh, well, there's um, three full-service spas. There's the uh, West Virginia um, State Park, Berkeley Springs State Park. They offer a basic soaking and massage. Then you have the Renaissance Spa and Atasia Spa, and they offer other services, facials, pedicures, manicures, different types of massage. Uh-huh. Now, Atasia Spa... They use the CBD oil, and you can um, have the oil massaged um, there. Oh, that sounds good. Do you know if they if they know how to fix moisture problems? I, I've had a terrible moisture problem with my fanny for years now. I, I've been looking for a cure. Yes. I don't know. I could give you numbers and you could talk to them directly, but I I don't know. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for this information. Uh, All righty. We also have a local acupuncturist here and some other folks that do body work. Oh, yes, body work. I think that's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Michael Pushkin's very good. Pushkin. All right. He pushes the needles in, I suppose. Uh, no, he doesn't do acupuncture. He just does massage. Um, but there is a, a young lady that does acupuncture. All right. All right. Well, thank you, dear. All right. You have a good day. You as well. Mm. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Okay, Miriam, that was good. Got some information about Berkeley Springs in West Virginia. Um, I guess you're going to go during the winter time? Yes. That sounds interesting. The water comes out of the springs at 74 degrees all year round. And I've got a bath in George Washington's replica bathtub in the park. Yeah, that sounds uh, like a good idea. When you do that, are you going to be clothed? No. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, there's that. that that's good. Um, Spring State Park, this is Shauna. How can I help you? Yes, hello. 
I'm wondering about the spa services at the Berkeley Springs State Park. All right. And uh, what services were you looking for? Uh, I want to know exactly what what services are offered. Uh, well, we offer massages. Uh, we do 30, 60, and 90 minutes. They all come with a 15-minute mineral bath. We also do mineral baths by themselves. So we do those for 20 minutes, and they're 32 for the first person, 22 for each additional. And then we also have a sauna that you can add on to any of the service or, services or just do as itself. All right. And what do the massages consist of? Uh, well, it's just a full body massage. Uh, it's um, okay. You would do, go into a 15-minute mineral bath and then go into either a 30, 60, or 90-minute massage. Um, and based on the timing that you do, you can ask the therapist to focus on a certain part or just uh, focus on the full body. Is that a nude? Sorry? Is it a nude? Oh, uh, bathing suits are optional. Uh, if you do the, ba or the uh, bath, on your own, then you will. It will be private to you, so you can be nude if you prefer. All right. Yes. Yes. That'll be quite nice. Uh, yes. Do you know what the healing properties are of the mineral water? Um. Well, they're uh, supposed to help relieve tension in the muscles. They're supposed to help regulate um, the serve or the. Uh, systems in your body, <laughs> pretty much. All right, yes. Is it all right if I bring my husband over as well? Yes, yeah, you guys can actually do the bath together. You would be able to do a Roman bath together. Um, whirlpools oh, yes. are separate, but if you preferred to be in a bath together, it would be the Roman bath. Is it all right if we fornicate in the bath? <laughs> oh, this is a prank call, right? No, I'm 84 years old. We don't have much time left. One moment. All right. Hello. Oh, dear. What? Hello. They put you on hold. There's just no song or anything to let you know. I don't understand. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, yes. I was waiting to, to hear back if it was all right if... If my husband and I, if we fought a kid in the mineral baths. Yes. Hello? Um. Hello? Um. No. Um, yeah, we actually don't allow that. Oh, all right. That's all right then. Now, for the massage, can he and I have a single masseuse, or is it done separately? Um, so you can do a couple's massage, or um, you could do a couple's massage, or you could do separate, but it's with two different massage therapists. Oh, I see. Is it all right if we lay on top of one another? No, I'm sorry, you can't do that. All right. Yeah, this isn't that kind of massage, please. Oh, then I probably shouldn't ask if there's a happy ending at the end. Uh, no, ma'am. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to let you go. Have a great day. All right. What happened? Goodbye. I don't think they're there anymore. Oh, dear. Oh, they've gone. Miriam, I don't think you can ask any of those questions. I think that was very rude of you. No. They let us do that here in the UK. Yes. We find the bath and we go for, we go together and we, we do dirty things in there. I, I don't know if that's even true. Are you sure that you're not talking about your own house? Oh, yes, yes. That's what it is. Yes. Very tragic. He, he, he takes his clothes off. And he, he lets the bath run, and then he calls me. He calls me over, he says, Miriam, get in here right away. It's hard for once. Yes, and I, 
I draw board in. Yes. Okay, Miriam. Thank you for that mental image. Okay, Miriam. We have the Greenbrier River Cabins. You want to read this? Yes. Stay with Greenbrier River Cabins, where your front yard is a Greenbrier River, and your backyard is a Greenbrier River Trail. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then the next thing we have is, um, that'll be fun. What that thing is. But first, uh, let's find out about the cabins, okay? Yes. Hello. Hello. I'd like to find out about the river cabins. Yes, ma'am. When are you coming in? Oh, not four months. About four months? Oh, one month. Yes. Yes. I just want to inquire. Have you been on the uh, Have you been on the website? Oh, I don't have the internet, dear. Oh, you don't? No. Well, we can. Uh, would you like me to send you something? A brochure. That'd be interesting. Yes. Pardon me. Yes. What's your address? It's four five four. Horse, machine, ranch, road. That's in Roy, New Mexico. New Mexico? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what's the name? Miriam Jones. William? And let's spell that last name for me, please. No, no. Miriam. And the last name... Oh, Miriam. Yes. Last name is Jones. Jones, okay. Yes. And Miriam Jones... Four five four, and the, uh, the 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 road again. It is horse like like the animal horse, machine, ranch, road. Horse, mission, ranch, road. Yes. And that's in Roy, New Mexico. R Y E. R O Y. Roy. Yes. New Mexico and the zip code? I haven't got that memorized. I just moved here from New York. So. Roy, New Mexico, R O Y. Yes. And the zip code? Yes, I haven't got that. You don't have the zip code? No, no. I have to find a piece of mail. I haven't got any mail. It's I'll look that up and then I'll send it to you. All right. Yes. Thank you, dear. I'll get that. I'll get that out soon. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. Bye bye. All right. Green Bank Observatory. Experience the National Radio Quiet Zone, and explore radio astronomy at the Green Bank Observatory, home of the world's largest. Steerable Telescope Greenback Observatory features tours and hands-on exhibits to help you discover the marvels of the universe. Don't forget to stop by the Starlight Cafe for lunch after playing Astronomer for the day. Does that sound interesting to you, Miriam? I want to steer it. Okay, we're going to try and get you to steer the telescope, okay? Yes. I need to find my home planet. Of course you do. Thank you for calling the Green Bank Science Center. How may I help you? Hello there, dear. I'm interested in visiting. I, I have a couple of questions. Sure. Uh, yes. It says in the travel guide here, it's the Green Bank Observatory has the largest steerable telescope. Do I get to steer it? Do you have to what? I'm sorry? Do I get to steer the telescope? Do you have to steer the telescope? Oh, can I? Can I? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm having a hard time understanding your question. <laughs> All right. Do I get to control... This telescope. Does some does who control the telescope? Do I? Do you control the telescope? No. Yes, yes. Oh, all right. Uh, 
No, you don't control the telescope. What is there to do uh, at the telescope? Well, uh, you get to go on a tour um, to the telescope. Um, so you don't necessarily get to go up to it or anything, but you dig, do get to go on a tour um, that is a that starts with a uh, film and a presentation in our auditorium, and then the second half hour of the tour is a bus ride. So you get to see all the telescopes, and you get to stop down at the big one, and you get to see get a closer look at it. All right, and then it says here, don't forget to stop by the Starlight Cafe. Can you tell me what the Starlight Cafe is? The Starlight Cafe is our little uh, cafe that we have here that serves little, um, they serve pizzas, uh, they serve um, they serve sandwiches and wraps, and uh, they open at 11 o'clock um, every day, and they close at 7 o'clock. Do you eat there? I'm sorry? Do you eat there? Do I eat there? Yes, I do. All I have, right, that's, I have some pretty good that's food. Good. All right. Well, thank you very much for this information, dear. You're very welcome. All right. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I guess even though it's the world's largest steerable telescope, uh, Miriam does not get to steer it. Yeah. Uh. I really want to steer it and find my home planet. Miriam, you're on your home planet. Yes. What? Don't worry about it. What's to worry about? Yes. Old-fashioned charm in historic Beverly. Founded in 1790 as the Randolph County seat, Beverly was an important crossroads and prize of the 1861 Battle of Rich Mountain. Today, historic Beverly offers a fascinating glimpse into days gone by, with more than a dozen pre-Civil War buildings still in use in the historic district. Yes, the Rich Mountain Battlefield Civil War site is nearby on the Stoughton Parkersburg Turnpike National Scenic Byway. Visitors start their experience at the Beverly Heritage Center, where four historic buildings combine in a visitor center and heritage museum, featuring exhibits on regional history and the first campaign of the Civil War. Yes. I'm not reading the rest. It's very boring. Miriam, it's just your speed. You know, you go to the place, you go to the battlefield... I want to inquire about... I don't know. Good morning, Beverly Heritage Center. This is Justin. How can I help yes, you? Yes, hello there, dear. Uh, I'm wondering about... Ed. What buildings do you have that are still up and running? I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Yes, I was looking in the travel guide and I came across Beverly Heritage Center. And I, yes. Yes, I'm wondering what you, what you do there. Uh, we're a museum here. We're a, a, a museum that preserves the culture and heritage of Randolph County, West Virginia. All right. Is, is this the north or the south? Uh, it's We're in sort of northeastern Virginia, is the kind of central eastern Virginia. We're, we're bordering on the Mon Monogany, Monongahela National Forest. All right. I, I see here that... Like Elkins. The closest big city, the closest large, uh, larger town is Elkins, West Virginia. All right. They're about six miles away. And I see this thing about uh, Rich Mountain. Are there any treasures to find there? Uh, I mean, it depends on what you consider a treasure, but it's, I mean, it's a site that's been extensively searched in the past, so I don't, I don't know that you would find anything of particular value there. All right. Um, but it is, I mean, it's a fascinating site. It was the, the site of the first major engagement of the Civil War. Um, and so it's, it's a wonderful historical treasure. Yes, yes. And, and what side was West Virginia on? Um, West Virginia was part of the Union. They were part of the North during the Civil War. 
um, although they were a border state, so there were many Confederate sympathizers in West Virginia as well. So uh, Beverly, one of the interesting things about Beverly is that it's one of the only cities in the Civil War that housed both Union and Confederate regiments at the same time. There was actually a, a peace, a, a sort of a truce peace agreement that within the town of Beverly, the town of Beverly was a safe zone. Oh, that's very interesting. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm planning my trip. I'll be there next month. I, I'll have to have to give Beverly a, a, a look, see. Yes. Yeah, we would, we would love to have you. All right. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. Have a great day. You as well. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay, to our listeners, um, if you guys can f- try and find vacation guides or tourism guides to different states, um, we're going to try and get through every every single state in the U.S., and then we're going to move on to the U.K. So if you guys can try and find um, vacation guides, tourism guides, things that have you know a listing of places you can go in uh, cities and towns with throughout the entire area um that'd be great that would really help out and if we can get through all 50 states well 49 states i don't want to call my own state um if we can get through all those and then move on to other countries i've opened up uh our phone line system here to accept calls going out to uh france germany Spain, the UK, Austria, and Switzerland. If you can find tourism guides that list numbers for all those countries, send them over to travelswithmiriam at gmail.com. Subject line tourism guide or, you know, give me a country name so I can sort through those and uh, get the numbers to call in future episodes. So that should cover the next, you know, year or so worth of shows. Hopefully. There tends to be enough numbers in these guides that you could easily fill in um, anywhere between one to four episodes full of calls. So that's my my, uh, request to the audience to help out. And then... um, Going forward, we'll we'll get through all those things and hopefully learn some things along the way. Miriam, does that sound good to you? Yes, I want to know more.